Happy New Year! It's only been a day since the last video, so it's kind of weird that <laughs> it's finally 2019 and a year. It's in the new year! Yay! I hope everyone had a fantastic time um, at New Year's and you're looking forward to 2019 because I know I am. Um, I had enough of the end of this year, so I am very much looking forward to starting this year and getting some awesome things going. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, it is what I'm going to do with my intentions and goals and things this year. Now, last year I did really well, which if you've seen the video, it only went up yesterday. Um, I did really well with my goals last year and I'm really, really happy with that. So off the back of that, I'm now looking at my goals for 2019, this year. It's that weird kind of crossover of like last year, this year, what year am I in? 2019, this year, this year. So 2019 for me is going to be a year of mindfulness because everything I want to do kind of falls into that category. Now it's one of those horrible, horrible buzzwords of mindfulness, hashtag mindfulness. And I'm like, uh, no, that's not mindfulness. This is just rubbish. I'm talking like genuine mindfulness here. So none of that kind of hashtag rubbish, genuine mindfulness. So it falls into two categories within that. Mindfulness in my actual mind and mindfulness when it comes to my body. So let's go with mindfulness of the mind, 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 mindfulness. Um, so what I want to do is I want to journal more. I have this. So in my last video, you would have seen me gesticulating with my pen. Um, it's because I have this. This has been going for the last two years. It's, it's not a huge amount of journaling. It's just kind of meal plans and notes and packing lists and general rubbish that, um, I make a note of. I want to make more use of this. So I do use it quite a lot, but not as much as I could. So I want to journal more, um, in an attempt to help with like mindfulness when it comes to, uh, my anxiety um, and issues that I have surrounding that so I can kind of pinpoint it and kind of help with that. Um, I also want to go into dream journaling because recently I've been having some weird but incredible dreams and they just kind of fizzle and fade and disappear so I want to work with that more because um, yeah, it's something that I think I can kind of open up a little bit more, if that makes sense. So journaling and dream journaling are going to go together so that I can help um, be more mindful about habits, good and bad, so that I can kind of increase the good, decrease the bad. Um, it's also going to help me set up a routine because I am terrible with routines. I'm getting better at it. Um, because I have like my Monday meditation class and that kind of sets me up. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday I work, Monday I have my meditation group. That's four of my days in a routine and planned. I don't need every second of my day planned, but I do need to get into a routine and the journaling is going to help pinpoint that and, and get that sorted out for me. Um, I want to be mindful of reading more because I've got better at it, but I do also fall out of habit with it and I find I get distracted very easily. So I want to be mindful of that, that I get distracted easily and I want to kind of focus more on reading. Um, I have a lot of reading to do. I've got a reading list, which is Buddhist studies, which is very heavy going and hard to do. So that is something I do need to be mindful of that I kind of take it in and I'm not just kind of blindly going through it. Um, so while I do want to read more, I want it to be effective at the same time. And it doesn't mean that I'm not going to be reading like fun books, because I am. I'm going to kind of juggle the two and again, be mindful of when I need to switch that, mindful of when I'm not taking it in anymore. Mindful. It's going to be lots of mindful this year. Um, and I also want to be mindful when I am going food shopping, because I am trying to like make better choices, less plastic, um, healthier things, but I am aware that I do go on kind of autopilot quite a lot and I do, things do slip through. So I need to be more focused and more mindful when I'm doing things like that. 
because that is ultimately it when it comes to mindfulness in my mind I go on autopilot a lot and there's the times when I'm physically sleeping and there's the times when I'm awake but my brain is still just sleeping and on autopilot and I want to kind of wake up and be a lot more mindful of what I am doing which is why this is the year of mindfulness because it keeps coming up so much so that's my mind mindfulness now mindfulness when it comes to my body is um being better with my health my physical health so as I said in my last video my health issues have, have cleared up so it means that I can do more physical activity. Um, I have my Fitbit and I try and do my 10,000 steps a day. So that's one thing I do need to be mindful of so that I don't get to like nine, 10 o'clock at night and go, oh, I've got 2,000 steps left to take. Be more mindful of it as I'm going through the day. Um, yoga, um, jogging, swimming, things like that. I, I want to be more mindful of, of like, can I do more? Can I push myself a little bit more? Not just being like, oh, I can't be bothered, so I'm just not going to. Being mindful of, why can't I be bothered? I should do this. Um, I saw something fantastic the other day. Exercise isn't a punishment for what you eat. It's a celebration of what you can do. And I need to think of it that way. I need to be mindful of myself being like, oh, I can't be bothered. And be like, no, I should do because I can do this now. I've had years where I couldn't do physical activities because it would just cause me so much pain. Now I can. I need to celebrate that and make the most of it. So that's the mindful part of my body. I also need to be mindful of my eating. I am terrible at eating for the sheer hell of it. I eat because I'm bored. Hi. I cook because I enjoy it and then I eat it because it's going to go off. I don't eat because I need to. So I need to be more mindful of what I'm eating and why and when. Um, and, you know, only eating when I'm hungry, for example. Things like that, because I do find that I have a terrible habit at work of just grabbing a slice of cake and eating it and getting halfway through it and thinking, when, when did I pick this up? Why did I pick this up? Why am I eating this? I'm not even hungry. So being mindful of this on that level, or mindful on that level. Um, making better choices as well when I'm picking food. And um, this goes back to last year when I'm being like better with my money. It's both with my money and with my body. Um, I could make myself a healthy lunch or I could go to the supermarket and buy crap which I still do. I do it, I don't do it all the time because like I do my meal prep videos, but every once in a while I will still just go and buy a giant bag of sharing nachos and just eat the whole lot, which isn't good for me. It's too much salt. Like it's just, it's not good for me. So I need to be mindful of that. And I think the journaling and things like that will help kind of pinpoint why I'm doing these things so I can stop it and I can change my habits. Um, but yeah, that that's basically it. It's it all falls under one subject of mindfulness, and there's a lot I can do with that. There's a lot I want to do with my mind and my body, and yeah, it's going to be an interesting year ahead. There might be updates. There might not. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But thank you for watching. Um, what are your goals for the new year? What are you going to be doing for 2019? Hi. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, what are your goals? What do you want to achieve? How are you going to achieve it? What are you going for? So let me know in the comments below. Again, let's talk about it. Let's let's get a talking bit going and we can all support each other because that's what we're all here for. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe so we can hit 10,000 followers and get some YouTube money so we can buy you jerky sticks. Yeah, jerky sticks. Check us out on Patreon, you can also support us there, um, where you get extra videos and all kinds of perks, and we will see you soon.